Welcome students. In the last three sessions, we have discussed the chapter of bank reconciliation statements in which we have discussed the theory part plus three methods of bank reconciliation statement along with their questions. Now we are going to start with topic number four that is overdraft as per passbook. Again, as the logics are same that is increase will be written in the minus column and decrease will be written in the positive column. So, let us move on straight away to a question to understand these points. So, the question is we start with overdraft as per passbook now 20,000. First point check issued but not presented 5,000, check deposited but not credited 6,000, interest on overdraft in passbook only 500. Next point number 4 is check issued 400 recorded twice in the cash book. Next point number 5 bank recorded 2000 check deposited as 200 and last is wrong credit by the bank 4000. Now, we have to prepare a bank reconciliation statement. So, let us start. In the first line you know you have to write bank reconciliation statement of the company name and the date. Then starting with overdraft as per passbook 20,000 we will write it in minus column. Coming to point number 1 check issued 5000 but not presented in the bank. That means overdraft as per passbook is less. So, now we will increase that is in the minus column. Coming to point number 2, check deposited 6000, but not credited in the passbook means passbook overdraft is more because when you deposit the check in cash book you reduce your overdraft, but in passbook it has not come. So, passbook overdraft is more. So, now to reduce it you will write in positive column. As regards point number 3, interest on overdraft 500 in the passbook means that overdraft in the passbook is more. So, now you have to reduce it and for reducing you know you have to go to the positive column. Point number 4, check issued 400 recorded twice in cash book means cash book overdraft is twice that is 800 and in passbook overdraft is 400 as far as this entry is concerned. So, now increase passbook overdraft 400 that is go to the minus column write 400. Now, point number 5 20,000 check deposited recorded by bank as 200 means in the cash book we have reduced the overdraft by 20,000 whereas in passbook we have reduced by only 200. So, overdraft is more in passbook. So, now you have to reduce it by how much 19,800 by writing in the plus column. So, go to the plus column write 19,800. Next point number 6 will be wrong credit by bank 4000. Now, this will reduce the passbook overdraft by 4000. So, now we will increase the passbook overdraft and go to the minus column and write 4000 there. So, what is the final answer now? It will be like this minus 20,000 you started with it minus 5000 plus 6000 plus 500 minus 400 and plus 19,800 and the last one minus 4000. This is going to give you a balance of 2900 rupees that is overdraft as per cash book 2900. Now, we move on to our last topic in this bank reconciliation statement chapter that is adjusted cash book. Now, first of all understand what is adjusted cash book? So, adjusted cash book means where we rectify 
all those errors which result due to the mistakes committed by the staff or due to not recording in the cash book, but appearing in the passbook like interest debited in passbook, bill credited in passbook only, check dishonored etcetera as these are also mistake of the accountant. When you have seen it in passbook and you are not writing in cash book, it will be taken as the mistake of accountant. So, first of all we rectify these things. When we rectify these mistakes and then move on to rectify those mistakes which are due to the timing difference or other reasons like error of the bank. So, in fact, we divide the bank reconciliation statement which we have studied originally into two parts. First part the accountant errors versus the second part the other errors. So, the first type of error is corrected in the amended cash book and the second part will be corrected in bank reconciliation statement. In the second part we take first check issued, but not presented second check deposited, but not credited and the third one errors by the bank. So, why not understand this by doing one simple problem on this concept. Let us start with the question balance as per cash book given 50,000 first entry check issued, but not presented 5000. Second entry check deposited, but not credited 7000. Third one bank charges debited in passbook only 200. Fourth entry check wrongly credited in the bank 6500, 6500. Next entry number 5 customer check dishonored. 5500. Next entry number 6 check issued to the creditor not entered in the cash book 2000. In this question first of all we have to decide which are the entries which will be taken to amended cash book and which are the entries which will be taken to the bank reconciliation. Let us begin with point number 1 check issued, but not presented is not a mistake of an accountant, but it is due to the timing problem. So, we will take it in bank reconciliation. Coming to point number 2, check deposited, but not credited in the passbook is also a problem of time, because it takes some time between depositing a check and its clearance till that time difference will be there. So, this point will also go to bank reconciliation. Let us see point number 3 bank charges debited in passbook. Now, this has to be corrected in amended cash book, because it is the mistake of the accountant. Coming to point number 4 check wrongly credited in the bank is an error of the bank. So, it will be rectified in bank reconciliation statement, because I told you we are going to rectify accountant mistake in amended cash book and the remaining in bank reconciliation. So, let us see point number 5 also dishonor of a check of the customer must be in the knowledge of accountant. So, this error belongs to amended cash book category and the last point number 6 check issued, but not entered in cash book. It is clearly an error of accountant, because accountant must know all these things and this belong to amended cash book category. So, now let us see what is the net result. First we will make amended cash book and start with balance as per cash book. On the debit side we will write 50,000, then on the credit side minus 200, on the credit side again minus 5500 and on the credit side again minus 2000 which makes the amended cash book balance as 42,300. Now, this is the balance as per amended cash book. And now, when we start bank reconciliation statement, we will start with this opening balance 42,300 and rectify the remaining mistakes. 
So starting with the balance as per amended cash book 42,300, we will add 5,000, subtract 7,000, add 6,500, which makes the final balance 46,800 and this is the balance as per passbook. So this was amended cash book for you. Now let us do some brainstorming exercise and think about some more entries and multiple choice questions which will fit in all these topics taken together. Okay. Starting with the first point, check of receipt entered as payment, where we will record in amended cash book or bank reconciliation. Think once again, a check of receipt entered as payment. Now, this is clearly a mistake of an accountant. So, this will go to amended cash book. Come to the second point, dividend credited directly in the bank. This is also amended cash book because when dividend is credited in the bank passbook, so you must correct your cash book, amend it. Next point, errors by bank or check deposited but not credited. This is clearly a bank reconciliation statement entry because nothing for an accountant. Next point, wrong recording of opening balance, where it will go? Clearly amended cash book because you are writing a wrong balance, so it will go to amended cash book. Let us do some multiple choice also. Question number 1. When balance as per cash book is the starting point, interest charged by bank will be A added in BRS, B subtracted, C not adjusted and D none of the above. Think balance as per cash book is given, interest charged by bank has reduced the passbook balance, so now you have to subtract. So, the answer is B part subtracted. Next question, when balance as per passbook is the starting point, uncollected check, uncollected means you have deposited, but they have not been credited in the bank, uncollected. Please see once again, when balance as per passbook is the starting point, uncollected check will be A added, B subtracted, C none of these. Naturally, it will be added because in passbook you have not added, so please add. So, my dear students, this brings us to the end of this chapter, interesting and an important one. Hope you have thoroughly enjoyed the concepts of the various points. In our next session, we are going to start another very, very important chapter number 6, trial balance and rectification of errors. Till then, all the best and Namaskar.